Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through some beauty bits that I picked up while I was in the States. I originally wanted to have my Vegas video live this week, but it's been a hot minute since I did a travel video and when I was going through the footage I kind of just got a bit overwhelmed to be honest because <laughs> there's so much there's so much and what I originally had in my head for the video I don't think it's going to work anymore so I decided to give myself a week an extra week to get that video together and instead I'm going to show you all the beauty bits that I bought while I was in the States because you know I love a little Sephora. I would love for Sephora to come to Ireland but then my bank account would really suffer so yeah I don't know. But I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I got not just in Sephora but also a couple of other brands and yeah let's just head on into it. We got some bits. I don't know about you guys but I think especially because Sephora isn't in Ireland. I really have to kind of prepare myself when I'm going into Sephora. Oh no, that's an eighth all time. Get in there. I need to cut that off. Otherwise, I just pick up everything and I panic and I'm like, oh, I'll just, I'll just buy it. And I've done that a few times. And as much fun as it is owning all that stuff, sometimes it just doesn't get used because it's not the right product for me. But because I'm in Sephora and I'm like, well, it's not at home. I kind of feel like under pressure to get it there and then so what I did this time is in advance of going to the States I actually saved a load of stuff to my basket in Sephora and then when I was in the store I was able to go onto my basket and be like okay you've had these saved you've researched them you know what you want buy these so that made things a lot easier it still bought tons and still was like randomly sucked in here and there just a little only a smidge but more or less got what I wanted. Very excited about these bits. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the thing I am loving, which is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream and Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum with SPF 50. Doesn't that just roll off the tongue, huh? It, it's a lot of words, but I am loving it i got the regular one which is in the silver bottle there's also one in a kind of more blue bottle which is for oily skin and another one a kind of a pinky purple which is for radiance i don't have very oily skin i kind of have combination so that was one of the reasons why i went for this instead of the blue one and then the pink one with radiance I like to control the amount of like radiance and reflection and dewiness in my skin, on my skin and in my products. So what I decided to do was get this one and to be able to add the strobe cream, which you guys know I adore, the MAC Cosmetics Gold Light Strobe Cream. So I can add that to this product, but the coverage on this is amazing. And this is coming from someone who has rosacea, who finds it really hard to like cover up all that redness. The coverage is really, really fab. I got this in fair because I'm not tanned at the moment. And yes, I know I've just got back from the States and it was like 40 degrees, but who has the time to sit out in that heat? So I decided to go with fair, but for the times when I wear tan, I probably will get the uh, either a shade or two darker just so that, you know, I don't have a really pale face against my skin. I love that it has SPF 50. I'm very conscious of the fact that I, like, I really try and keep my face out of the sun. But knowing that I'm wearing SPF 50 every day is like, you know, makes such a difference. I also love the fact that it's in a tube, but yet it comes with a pump. I think that's brilliant because I get really frustrated when I have a product that's in a bottle and I feel like I can't get enough out but also sometimes the tube I feel like too much comes out when you squeeze it so having the tube with the pump is perfection. So I've been using this constantly I will say it's quite um, full coverage but I actually really like the feel of it on the skin it doesn't feel heavy. At first when I put it on I was like oh wow okay this takes a moment to kind of spread into the skin but once you do it gives a really nice coverage I haven't had any breakouts or anything with it I have been putting it on with this beauty blender I got a new beauty blender while I was away as you can see by how gross it is and um, because my one was disgusting and old and I don't even want to talk about how long I had owned it for but it doesn't matter it's in the bin it's all in the past would highly recommend if you haven't tried it out go into Sephora get a tester what I've been wearing under the it cosmetics is it is the Becca cosmetics aqua luminous perfecting concealer in light 
And yes, I was a total crazy person and kept all the boxes so that I could show you. Really liking this. I've seen it so many times in so many different like beauty YouTubers videos and all that kind of stuff and I went into the store and tried it and I totally got the hype. Like okay, it doesn't totally get rid of my rosacea but it definitely evens it out more so that when I put on the CC cream it really just glides onto the skin which is really nice. And um, the aqua luminous part, it definitely is glowier than other concealers that I've tried which I really really like and it's really easy to apply I like the um the ooh yeah I totally got some of my bed there hold on okay well whatever apart from the splodging that just occurred I really like the the top on it if you look at this here it's kind of got a flat top, it's not completely curved, so it makes it really easy to apply and then blend it out with a beauty blender. So I got this in light. Okay, I freaking love sheet masks and I really, really like the Sephora ones. I've been using them for, oh God, years because I feel like before sheet masks were like really a thing, like they were doing sheet masks and they're the most reasonable ones that you can get, whereas, now there are more options like Garnier do really good ones, Neutrogena do really really nice sheet masks. I don't want to spend a lot of money on a sheet mask. I prefer to spend more money on like a serum, something I can use again and again. So these are really great options. So I got four different types. Uh, I got the pearl one which is perfecting and brightening. I got the algae, algae face mask which is purifying and detoxifying. I got the green tea face mask which is mattifying and anti-blemish. And then I got two of the coconut face masks which are nourishing and soothing. So all different types for like different skincare issues that I may be having. I'm definitely going to do one of the coconut ones tonight. I feel like this is newer. Like I've definitely seen like the pearl and the algae and the green tea before but I sold coconut and I was like hi sign me up. I freaking love coconut. Also I bought a couple of these for the girls because they did so much driving on our little road trip that I will be showing you soon once I look up the courage to do those travel vlogs but got a couple of them for them for their flights so that they could scare all the fellow passengers i feel it's becoming more common though to be fair like i don't think it's such a big deal when you see someone wear a face mask now so yeah okay so moving on to the last two things from sephora you know that i am a huge huge way fan i think i mentioned it a few times this is my favorite favorite hair product ever it's the way wave spray the way wave spray the way texturizing hairspray also from way yeah so i air dry my hair quite a lot and um, i don't really like using a hair dryer when it's warm outside or any styling tools because i just think it's not as great for your hair and it's good to give it a break and blah 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 so i was really really excited when i saw that way came out with the air dry foam i couldn't find it in sephora for ages like there was a whole way stand and i was apparently looking at it for like 10 minutes and couldn't find it and it was right in front of my face it doesn't matter anyway i've tried this out a couple of times and i don't know if i'm just not using it right but it's just i don't know it's not 100 percent working for me which is very disappointing because literally every way product that i have bought to date i have adored and has been a godsend like i've been totally converted so it says for wavy or curly hair i definitely would have wavy hair it's not super wavy i would always get a lot of waves at the back and the reason i'm showing you this is because i have this foam in right now this mousse in right now and it's not really wavy to be honest i i found my hair to be more wavy without it so that's kind of interesting i don't know if it's just maybe my hair isn't wavy enough but i have had like full-blown beachy waves just by leaving it dry so how i've done this both times to date is i've had a shower that night i've washed my hair i've left it dry a little bit naturally and then I put this in and then I've gone to bed and I think maybe the fact that I have it going to bed is like flattening it while I'm sleeping. I thought at first maybe it was because I was using conditioner so I didn't use conditioner last night when I washed my hair but it's just not really wavy the way that my hair normally is. It's normally wavier. So 
what I'm going to do, because it's evident that it's nothing to do with conditioner, I think it might be because I'm sleeping in it, what I'm going to do is try to wash my hair some morning and put this in and see how I get on. It's going to be a bit trickier because it is September now, it's gotten quite a bit colder in Dublin, and um, I don't really like walking around with wet hair, so it's going to have to be some day that I'm like staying in the house until my hair is dry, which isn't ideal, but I really want to try it out because I was so excited for this product like this is one project that I was like this is gonna be a godsend to me so I'm going to try it again uh, some morning when I wash my hair instead of in the evening and I will report back so yeah that is that is TBC on its effectiveness right now TBC but I did get one other way product which I am converted 100% I'm obsessed this is the way scalp and body scrub when I saw this come out, I was like, of course. Why wouldn't you need to exfoliate your scalp? Your scalp has skin. So, I have said it several times on here before, but I suffer from psoriasis. And one of the worst places I get it is definitely actually in my scalp. In the hairline, um, kind of up here, sometimes on top of my scalp, but mostly it would be at the back and at the sides. It's nothing to do with like how I'm washing my hair or anything like that. I've been told before by hairdressers, no, you're doing exactly what you need to do. It's just a badly affected area. I have used tar shampoo before, which smells horrific, but it's super, super effective. If anyone out there is suffering from psoriasis or any kind of irritation in your scalp, I'd highly recommend it. And I also use Neutrogena tea gel, which is really, really effective as well. But this has been really, really nice. I've used it once or twice on my scalp now. It's got coconut oil in there, which makes it really hydrating. Detox, refine and treat overworked skin and hair with this foaming probiotic coconut oil infused scrub featuring gentle exfoliating sugar crystals. I used it in my hair, I've used it on my skin. It's really conditioning, really soft. I found my skin has been breaking out recently, unfortunately, with really bad dry patches. I need to go to a dermatologist. Um, but this hasn't aggravated at all and it's definitely helped soften it. And it just felt amazing in my scalp. It does take a while to work in. I have quite thick hair as well. So you really have to like lift it up and kind of put it in to the root and then go down another layer and put it into the root and then go down another layer and put it into the root just so that you're getting it fully into the scalp. I've really been loving this product. I was afraid I was going to go through it really, really quickly because it's so easy to just like scoop and just like throw a load on your body. Oh my God, it's not amazing. But I haven't. I've used it like a good few times and I've only taken like a tiny bit. It's heavy enough. I mean... It's not, it's not ideal to be bringing back from the States into your bag because it was already overweight before I put this in. So those are my Sephora bits. It feels like there isn't a lot there, but like, I mean, that all adds up pretty, pretty quickly. My next purchase is Glossier. I have been dying to try Glossier for so long, but I was really reluctant to just like order it online and get it delivered here because I have such sensitive skin so I didn't want to spend money on something and get it and be like wow this actually aggravates my skin and now I spent this money on it um, and I just I always like just like trying out a brand a little bit and just seeing or at least being able to go in and talk to people who work there and so I did and as you can see it was a total success. There were a couple of things that I have researched and I knew about and I really 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 wanted to try. So the first one, and sorry, before we move on, how fab are these little uh, bubble bags? Like I'm gonna be using these traveling, like I'm keeping them. Um, Cause they're just so handy, like perfect. So I'm gonna keep using those. So there's a couple of products that I really wanted to try. The first one is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I got this in light. And normally I am very definitely light, like that's not a problem, but I actually feel like this might be slightly too pale for me. And I realize I'm saying that and I can see in the camera I'm like totally blown out, but it, it's very cloudy today. Yeah, I don't know. I tried it on while I was away and it feels a little light for my skin. Maybe it was just while I was away, you know, I had a spray tan and stuff. No, it looks okay. I've got it on my hand there. It feels 
gorgeous packaging is amazing it's so nice i'm obsessed with the packaging so that's the first thing i got which is the stretch concealer which i need to try again i've kind of been using uh, the becca cosmetics one a lot but i think i might try this one tomorrow and see how i got on with this so that was the first thing i wanted and then the second thing i really 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 wanted was the glossier milky jelly cleanser i've heard amazing things about this i tried it in the shop it felt lovely it didn't feel drying which for me is like 10 out of 10 because some of these things dry my skin quite badly i've actually had to throw out a couple of products in the last few months because they were really drying out my skin and it took me a while to realize that it was the cleansers so this is lovely because it's a conditioning face wash and i have combination skin so i have to be very careful to like find that balance and not like put anything on it that's going to produce a lot more oil and not put anything on it that's going to dry it out completely so it's like a really fine balance but i've loved this so far but it's a really thick consistency as you can see there it smells so nice it smells like soap but like not regular soap if you get me i don't know how to describe it it just feels lovely on the skin and again with my breakouts i've been trying to be really careful with products lately and this has been one that hasn't aggravated me at all and it's just felt lovely i wanted this and this came in a set and the sets work out a lot cheaper i'll be honest so there's like phase one phase two phase three i think something like that so i got this as part of phase one and um, the other two products that came with that are these two so uh, this is the priming moisturizer buildable hydrating cream and i know this is wrong but i haven't used a primer in a very very long time i don't know i just kind of ran out one day and just never got one again it says after cleansing massage dollops of the cream into your face using upward strokes up and out apply more where needed to prime skin for makeup and or life so i have been using this quite a bit on my skin before putting on makeup i'm definitely finding it's making a difference i'm really liking it as well because it's got like a really soft consistency it's not overly oily and it's not like it doesn't feel really heavy on the skin it's just got a really really nice feel to it so i've really been enjoying that and the other thing that came with it was this this is the glossier coconut balm.com which is their universal Skin salve. This is a really, really nice salve. It's quite thick, like it doesn't like just flow out of the tube. Um, so it's kind of nice. I've been putting it on my lips because they've been quite dry recently. Mm, so good. I would actually eat that tube. There's so many other scents. There's one that's birthday cake and actually literally smelled like birthday cake, which was amazing. So that's like the phase one that you get. So you get a cleanser, you get a primer moisturizer and a lip or like a universal salve which works out really well i can't remember how much i paid and um, but i remember it being like really good value like you definitely get more bang for your buck the other set that i got because i have become a skincare freak over the last year or so because i'm very aware that i am aging nothing like them marching hands of time to make you develop a skincare routine the other thing that i decided to get was the serums set so there's three serums super bounce super pure and super glow so i'll go through each of these now so the first one super glow that is a serum with vitamin C and magnesium and is to brighten and energize dull tired skin so the super glow one is one that I use in the morning not the evening it's more to energize your skin so it makes more sense to use it first thing in the morning I also use it with super pure again a serum with a niacinamide and zinc have a look there can you see that okay my camera will focus and I can't pronounce it. But again, so you apply over a clean face, follow up moisturizer. This one is to calm breakout prone skin and redness. Me, especially the redness. So I apply this day and night. So in the morning, I'll apply that with the super glow. And at night, I apply super bounce with super pure. So super bounce is a serum again hyaluronic acid and vitamin b5 and this is to ease and soften tight rough skin and again 
apply over a clean face and follow a moisturizer. Yeah, so those are the three. Super glow in the morning, super pure morning and evening, and super binds evening. So those are the three that I'm using and I'm really, really liking them and I haven't broken out from them. Uh, and given that my skin is in really bad nick at the moment, that's pretty impressive. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe down below. And also let me know if you've used any of these products yourself and liked or did not like them, especially the air dry film. I really want to know if anyone's made this work for them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one next Friday. Bye. Whoop. Um, I tell you, working with natural sunlight, not fun. Let's go camera. Why am I out of focus? I'm into it. Okay, um... Ugh. Okay. I have such a... I don't know why I'm not breathing when I'm... Apply all over skin face. Come on, camera. You're really not helping me today.